rains, it pours. But what about when it takes a turn for the worst and things get severe? Well, there's not exactly a witty idiom for that one, but what we do know is that severe weather isn't something to mess around with. So before you encounter flying livestock, <laughs> you'll want to make sure you're prepared. And one way to prepare yourself is with a NOAA weather radio. Stephanie Midget joins us today to show us the ins and outs of these weather lifesavers. Thanks, Corey. That's right. A weather radio is very important to have because it could potentially save your life. And it is actually very easy to program. Let me show you how it's done. The first thing you're going to want to do is set the time. So what you're going to do is use the menu function to scroll through the time, and then you're going to use the arrow keys to choose the correct time. And then the next option is set location. Now this is actually how you program the radio to give you the warnings that you specifically need. So you're going to choose select. Then you're going to see the option that says same zero one. What this is asking for is the same code, and that's the codes that the National Weather Service uses for each county so that they can alert the warnings. So say we're going to program this for Adair County. The code is zero two one zero zero one. And that's just an example. You can pick any counties you want and you can pick any number up to 25. But once you get your counties in there, you're going to use the menu function to navigate back to the main menu. Scroll down. Next choice is alert type. Now there are three different choices. We like to choose voice. That way if you can't get to the weather radio, you can still listen and you will understand what you are being warned for. So we're going to hit select. Now is the important part. You have to test your weather radio to make sure that it works properly. So you choose alert test and hit select. That's how you know it's working. You're going to hit menu to make that noise stop and then it'll save what you have programmed. But there's still one more step. You have to go back into the menu and choose the set channel function and that'll scroll through. What this is, it's picking the frequency of the weather radio tower nearest to you. So for example, if you live in Warren County, your frequency is 162.400. Now if you're indoors and you're programming it, it's probably going to be kind of staticky. To adjust the frequency, you just pull up the antenna here and that'll get you better reception. So once you get that chosen, you hit select, set channel, and you can hit menu and it'll save and your weather radio is programmed. And now it'll only go off for the counties that you have selected. But if at any time you would like to hear a weather forecast, all you have to do is hit this weather snooze button on the very front and center of your weather radio. It'll play you your forecast. And then once you're done listening, you can push that button again and it'll be quiet. One thing that's important, you want to leave the weather radio turned on. If you have this button turned off, it will not tell you anything whether it's programmed correctly or not. So it is important to leave your radio on at all times. Thanks, Stephanie. And remember, you can purchase your NOAA weather radio at your local Kroger or Walgreens store. For What the Tech? I gotta go, Julia. We got cows. I'm Corey Fryer.